The Insight Scanning System offers a thorough analysis of the functioning nervous system and is not limited to measuring spinal function alone. To assist in the process of interpretation of scans, a simplified approach has been created known as the RED or RED. RED is an acronym that stands for Reserve Energy in Depth. Reports and Synapse are designed to follow RED, a logical progression designed to keep the examiner and the reporting process focused on a sequence that defines the global impact of the subluxation and the adjustment. RED is the ideal method to acknowledge the ever-present connectivity and relationships between the spine, its local nerve connections, and the global impact that stress and the subluxation have on a person's overall health outcomes and future potential. Reserve and the Neuropulse Let's take a slightly deeper look at RED. R stands for Reserve. Chiropractic is based upon the concept of vitalism and accessing the reserve of reorganizational healing energy, which is vital. The amount of reserve is directly related to the degree of adaptability. The adaptive reserve is directly influenced by the adjustive process. The use of the neuropulse and the calculation of heart rate variability quantifies the amount of reserve available. The clinical term for the process of losing the adaptive reserve is known as disafferentation. Measuring the balance and activity within the ANS is the job of the pulse wave profiler known as the neuropulse. It calculates the interbeat intervals of a resting heart and produces a metric known as HRV, where a patient plots on the HRV graph represents how much reserve that patient has to adapt to daily and eventful stresses. Understanding and reporting HRV can be simplified by looking at this plot point. On the inside HRV graph, you will notice a green zone. This is the desirable area to score within because it represents where well-adjusted patients typically plot. CLA pioneered the use of HRV in chiropractic. Energy, exhaustion, and the neurocore. Let's take a slightly deeper look at RED. E stands for energy. Postural energy is measured using the NeuroCore EMG. Managing gravity is an extremely expensive experience. If a patient is out of balance or struggling with vertebral subluxations, the body wastes energy and this can be measured and plotted. The clinical term for exhaustion related to poor energy management is dyspinesis. Once the patient's overall adaptive reserve has been established, it's time to bring the story into the spine and identify the impact of the vertebral subluxation. Dr. Roger Sperry, who won the 1981 Nobel Prize in Medicine, is credited for determining the cost of living in gravitational fields. To remain upright and move effectively costs the body huge percentages of their neuromuscular energy, which in turn drains the body's energetic reserves. When a nervous system is compromised by any or all of the three dimensions of stress, physical, emotional, and biochemical, the natural neuromuscular response is one of protection. Muscles fire and contract, joints lock and postures become flexed, tilted, and rigid. The spinal system is pulled out of its balance while constantly reacting to stress, making the entire body dyspanetic or energy inefficient. It's incredibly inefficient to have postural distortions and it is equally inefficient to remain subluxated. Both processes waste neuromuscular energy, disorganize the neuromuscular balance, and exhaust the energetic reserves. Surface EMG is the ideal strategy for measuring the combined outcomes of postural and neuromuscular exhaustion. D stands for depth and dysautonomia and the neurothermal. Let's take a slightly deeper look at RED. D stands for depth. As the subluxation becomes persistent, it affects the regulatory capacity of the end organs and glands. This shift away from the normal can be measured using the neurothermal instrument. The data from this exam identifies the depth of change in a person's health related to the impact of stress on regulation. The clinical term associated with this process is dysautonomia. The third assessment which completes the RED sequence is a neurothermal scan. At each spinal level, there is the potential for the vertebral subluxation to impact the autonomic portion of the spinal nerve. This regional dysautonomia confirms that a deepening process is occurring. The combination of a challenged adaptive reserve 
and altered postural energy distribution leads to dysautonomia, which is a sign of a deepening response to the subluxation. Using the RED sequence offers consistency in reporting and office procedures amongst all team members. It is a foundational approach to scanning and reporting. It is based upon the essence of the chiropractic philosophy, science, and art in combination with the insight technologies. 